Okay, I've studied quite a few languages through my life, both in school and in my own spare time, despite the fact I can only speak two languages. One of which I was born with, and the other one I've... Well, everyone can speak that one, English. But it has made me realize two things when it comes to this topic of languages. One, I hate studying languages. And two, the Latin alphabet fucking sucks. Here's why. My biggest vendetta against the alphabet and my main reason for making this video is dedicated to the letter C. C for construction needed. And you might be thinking I'm crazy for saying this, but there is no reason this letter should exist at all. It doesn't have its own sounds or pronunciations at all. It borrows them all from letters that already exist. The letter C has no place in the alphabet at all. C usually makes either an S sound or a K sound. That being the hard and soft C. You know which letters also make an S and K sound? The letters S and fucking K. You could easily eradicate C from every single word it is used in and everything would be perfectly fine. Here are some examples. Canoe, cannon, Canada, cut. Now you might not be able to hear it, but all those words were spelled with K's instead of hard C's. And you couldn't even hear it. This also goes for the soft Z's, you know, the S sounds. Cycling, citrus, city, circus. And not only did I spell the soft C's with S's and it made everything sound the same, the hard C in circus was with a K and you didn't even realize that either. Even when spoken aloud, the letter C doesn't sound like its pronunciation like every other letter does. M is an M sound, A is an A sound. And C, C, the C, C, not an S or a K sound, a C sound. You can spell it with three other letters. They all make the same sound, however. C, C, and C. Why? Yeah, some might say that there are some specific rules, but say that some words only work if a C is there. But those rules are only there so people use the letter C at all. I mean, you could spell can with K and it would still say can't. So what's the problem? Most other Germanic languages with the Latin alphabet, which is all of them actually, has the same C situation, it still has a few C words, although mostly being words from English like cowboy or Canada. Yeah, except Germany because they couldn't give a toss about English. And this isn't just me being a moron, even though they could make a fine case for that. The Futhark alphabet which knew of the existence of a C in the world at the time it was both created and used, still doesn't have a C sound. Instead of using either, you guessed it, K and S, meaning that you can remove the letter C without the world collapsing. And that is on a C. I got more in this fucking bag. While C is a dumb letter because it sounds exactly like two other letters in the alphabet, X being the most cool letter in the alphabet, more or less follows the same kind of line. X is always pronounced as EKS or KS, like in weeks. It also always has an E in front of it, which is weird. But there are more letters in the alphabet, which also is always followed by other letters. Like Q, which is always followed by a U. That's one other day though. Actually, quick thing again, if X is pronounced with an E, then why does it always need an E in front? That E seems to be wasted because EXIT still makes a sound. EXIT. Anyways, off track. The problem with X is that it too already exists but as a combination of letters, EKS, which is a weird thing to do. Why make a letter for a combination of letters when it's just not? I mean, there are already so many special combinations like WH, KN, TH. So why make a letter for KS of all things? And again, you could replace example, exit, and exam with KS like I did, and it would still make the same sound. And then there's a weird choice of the letter X when it all of a sudden can make a xylophone noise. The X in xylophone is unusual. Why does X make an S sound? Again, could be replaced, but who thought that was a good idea in the first place? It is hardly ever used 
and when it is, it's random words like xylophone or xenophobia. Again, why does not use the S instead of adding an extra rule to a different letter, which already has a different tone in the first place? And also, the xylophone X is technically a set sound, which is. Ah, oh, goddammit. The letter Z is more or less letter C, but with an A sound at the end sometimes. Which is also never used. And it could be replaced with an E or something. Or just an S alone. Why isn't so many replacement for S's again? I mean, it's just an S sound. Zebra, city, sweet. It's the same noise, but three different letters. Anyways, to finish off X, basically, it's another letter which makes a sound that already exists. Now, why don't we wait for the next letter? W. That isn't a double U. That's a double V. Why is it called a U when it makes a V sound? And it's shaped like two V's. In other languages, they call it a double V, but here in English, it's double U. What? And why is it used as it is? When saying when with the V, you sound like a vampire, then. And the weird thing is, the V sound is the same, and it's the HEN sound that changes. I mean, even on its own, what noise does W make? I mean, most other letters sound like the pronunciation, like A, B, D, but W? This isn't the sound it makes at all. V? Then what about V? Isn't that the same? What is this letter? It can't be replaced, but it still has a weird aura over it. If it's both useless and useful at the same time, it makes sense and not at the same time. Okay, I think I'm done here. Okay, yeah, I know I sound like a lunatic, but what do you expect of me? I am one. I mean, think about this. I only went over the English use of the alphabet. If I'd done other languages, half of it would be France. I'm sure you can find other examples of why the English alphabet is dumb, or examples of why I am dumb. I'm sure you could do that. But I also know for a fact that there are more things in this alphabet which are dumb. But I'm not gonna make a part 2 or anything. Also, I hate studying grammar. It made an entire video about grammar. Maybe I just like to complain about things.